Hello everyone, I am back again and I am so excited because I just got done watching Cult of Chucky and if you watch my channel, you know that I am a huge Chucky fan. I've been waiting for this movie for four years. <sighs> I finally just watched it. Now I know it leaked. I know there were clips out. I didn't watch anything. I stayed away from as many spoilers as I could. And let me tell you, I was not disappointed. This might be up there with my favorite Bride of Chucky. Let me tell you why. Um, I want to start with a story. I have a little bit of spooky lighting going on right now. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my lighting situation. I know it's like annoying, but anyway. Um, the story takes place four years after um, Curse of Chucky. And Nika, the, um, the character Fiona Durth plays, who's in the wheelchair, she is in a psych ward and they basically have convinced her that she is the one doing the killing that she killed her whole family it was never chucky and um i don't know how spoilery i want to get maybe near the end i'll put like a disclaimer i'm going to talk about some spoilers and um so you'll be able to leave the video and click off if you haven't seen it yet um but I want to start by saying that this movie is very unexpected. Like, some of the stuff that happens in this, I, I did not see coming. And do not ruin the movie for yourself. You just need to watch it. Um, don't watch any of the clips because the twists in this movie are so good. You will not be disappointed. And um, I want to say, Nika... Um, yeah, Fiona Dorif does an amazing job once again. Um, her character doesn't really get to do a lot in the beginning, near the end, <laughs> it gets crazy. Um, all of the side characters are really, really good. And the actors playing them are really, do a really good job. And you are interested in all of the little and all of the side characters in the asylum. Um, there's a little iffy acting, like soap opera acting from some of the, um, minor characters, but, um, I don't think this is a spoiler or anything. Andy and Tiffany come back and it was so awesome to see Andy back. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but there is a couple scenes near the beginning where it just blew my mind because you get to see where he is now and oh my goodness i i was not expecting it and just to see where he where he's um gotten and you kind of see his struggles in life like dating um with his information out there like his date googled him before she came on date and um uh, a lot of people I saw, like, I read some of the reviews, um, and a lot of people said Alex Vincent's, like, his acting is really annoying, like, he can't act. I'm like, he's fine, like, he's serviceable for what he had to do, and I think he had some pretty badass moments. Um, Tiffany is back. She's not in it enough. I'm just gonna say that right now, I'm a huge Tiffany fan, I'm a huge Jennifer Tilly fan. Um, her, all of her scenes are awesome. Uh... A lot of spoilers in her scenes, so I'm not going to get into it um, until the end. And uh, what else? Oh, I loved the, I love how it looked visually. The asylum was basically all white. And then outside, it was constantly snowing. It was just such, for a Chucky movie, it was beautiful. And there's a scene where one of the, um, patients, somewhat spoiler, dies in a way that's kind of reminiscent of Bride of Chucky. And um, so she's like looking up at something, at the sky, and there's just, what is it called? A skylight. And there's just snow falling, and it's so peaceful. And then you just know Chucky is going to kill her. And um, so the kill happens, 
and it's strangely beautiful um <laughs> with the, all the white and the snow and snow is always so peaceful and then just death blood everywhere and it's just like that was strangely very beautiful um yeah so I'm gonna get into spoiler talk right now so if you don't want to be spoiled if you haven't seen it yet I'd say click off the video go watch the movie first come back or whatever um I want to say first of all the twist or this is a spoiler 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 the twist at the end I hear my dog coming in the door <laughs> the twist at the end where Chucky can possess all the different Chuckies and they're going back and forth and they have like this this little rattling off was so funny <laughs> oh my goodness I laughed so hard and then again spoiler he gets into the body of Nika and oh my goodness I did not see this coming I was shocked because it happens kind of quickly like you don't think like how they set it up like how am I trying to say this okay so the, <laughs> the beginning of the movie moves very slow not in a bad way it just is building it up and then at the end it's so fast paced that you're like oh my goodness what like it all happens so fast that you kind of don't expect it to happen when it happens when he possesses her and um so awesome Fiona Durf does a good impersonation of her father as Charles Lee Ray and uh the scene at the end it still blows my mind I just watched the movie when he walks out we has a little thing with Andy and he locks him in the chamber in the padded cell and then he walks out and Tiffany's standing there waiting for him and then they get in the car and they're all laughing and Tiffany pops up and starts laughing too. Oh my goodness. I lost my mind. Um, it was so awesome. And uh, honestly, I, I am amazed at the animatronics. I am so happy that they cut out CGI Chucky. The, the animatronics, give it up to Tony Gardner. Give it up to Tony Gardner. He did a wonderful job with the animatronics. It felt real. Um, the deaths were awesome, were shot amazing. And Don Mancini deserves a round of applause. He is stuck with this franchise for so long. And you can feel the tender loving care and the dedication by everyone involved. And it just made a wonderful Chucky movie. Um, that has been my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I kind of rattled on for eight minutes, but I have been waiting for this movie for so long and I'm a huge Chucky fan and it makes me so happy to see such a wonderful um, final product. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, spoiler alert, Kyle is at the end. She's in the end credit scene. So stick around for that. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely want to talk to you guys in the comments about it. I'm like flipping out still. It's still fresh. And I'm definitely going to watch it about 20 more times. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.